Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to get started with Cadence Virtuoso for use in X391. In this series of videos I'm going to show you how to make an inverter um, and we're going to start with creating the schematic, we're going to simulate it, uh, and then later on we're going to create the layout and simulate that as well. So to get started let's actually set up the environment for using uh, Virtuoso uh, in the terminal. So in the tutorial that you have right now on Blackboard, um, you have a series of commands that you have to type into the terminal to get uh, Virtuoso to pop up. Um, a cool trick to do though, um, so you don't have to do it all the time that you want to get started with this, uh, if you type in the, uh, the commands into a text document and actually have save the document as a .sh file and add, put this first line in. Um, what you can do then is that um, instead of having to type in those commands lines all the time, what you can do is that you can type in source and then the name of the file uh, which you call it, in this case I called it cadence.sh and if you type that in um, all the source and commands will work and super simple and so you don't have to like type it in all the time. So let's actually type in virtuoso, virtuoso and let's have uh, Cadence pop up. So a couple windows are going to pop up and the first one that you're seeing here now is just a log window and this is where all the main errors are going to show up. Um, you're going to have this what's new window, I usually just close that and then you'll have the library manager. So in this tutorial we're going to do an inverter, so pretty much your standard uh, PMOS, NMOS, and if, if just of course to review, just whatever goes in into the input, um, the opposite comes out. So to get started on a project, um, we'll go to first go to File, go to New, and go to Library, and just give your project a name, and so I'm just going to call this Test. Uh, what you want to do is uh, click attach existing technology library and you're going to click on the very first one that says NCSU tech library free PDK45 and click OK. So first uh, let's create um, the schematic. So what we just did is actually just created a new library and so this is where all our cells are going to be placed in for this specific tutorial. And so I'm going to call uh, my cell INV, uh, stands for inverter. And for view, I'm going to type in schematic. And so I'm going to click enter. So there's a new window pops up. Uh, here's the cell name, view. Make sure that this says schematic on this uh, type. And click OK. And so what pops up now is kind of like a uh, canvas so to speak where you will be creating uh, the actual circuit so let's create uh, let's create the transistors first and then we'll do the connections and such so this is where we're actually gonna get going with some cool stuff so let's put in the transistors first so in order to do that you can click up here on this create instance uh, button and It'll pop up with this window click on browse and so for this class uh, the transistors that we're going to use are going to be in the S NCSU devices uh, free PDK we're going to use the NMOS VTG and PMOS VTG so click on NMOS um, click on symbol and then that's going to appear here on the um, black part uh, click on it and it will appear there uh, and so that puts in the NMOS let's get the PMOS in there as well um, you can click on the button again or you can also use you can also type in just type I on your keyboard and the same window will pop up click on browse let's bring out the PMOS VTG symbol and, and we're just going to uh, put that in right above the NMOS. 
Now, now what we want to do is actually connect these uh, in the way that they're supposed to be in the circuit. So what we're going to do is that we can actually click on this button that says uh, create narrow wire. And so what that's going to do is now we can actually make some connections. So I'm going to connect uh, this uh, with the other, with the PMOS, with the NMOS. So I clicked on it. So a wire is going to be uh, placed. And then I double click it to where I want to end. And so let's do that here again with this connection. I'm going to click. If I wanted to make a turn, I could either just let it go, or if I wanted to make the turn here, um, you click, and you can make it there. Perfect. And so now we have some connections going. So now let's actually put in the input and output pins. So what we're going to do is uh, go up here to create pin. And first we're going to do the input pin. And so for the input name, we're going to type in in. And we're just going to make sure that the direction says input. And we're going to press enter. And so the pin pops up. And I'm just going to put it here. And in the same way, uh, you can click create pin or you can actually hit the letter P. And that will pop up the same window. I'm going to do out this time. Because this is an output pin, I'm going to make sure that the direction says output. And so now that's going to pop up here. And the pins comes out. Uh, I want to make some connections between these wires and the pins. Um, again, I can click on the wire uh, button. Or what I like to do is I just click on the W. And so now I can actually make the connection between here and here. So perfect. And now we have the pins, the transistors. All that's missing is the VDD and ground. So the way to do that, um, we're going to create it, go and create an instance. Uh, again, either type, click on this button or hit I. We're going to browse. We're going to go now to the analog library. And what we're going to do is first let's get uh, the ground. Um, we can just type in GND. Um, and so that's going to pop up here. And we're going to put it right below there. And now we're going to, we want to put the VDD. And so what we want to do is create, uh, we're going to go back to this window and we can type in VDD and so now we're going to put this right above here and so you can use, con by the way, you can use control uh, control scroll to zoom in um, to a specific part in your schematic and then if you click F you can get the full view of your entire schematic uh, very cool trick uh, finally, what we want to do is to make sure that uh, the body of each transistor is also connected to um, their to either VDD up here or ground. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to hit the W key on my keyboard. So now I can use the wire tool. And I'm going to just connect this, which is the body, out up to VDD. And... Down below here, I'm going to connect the body to ground. I'm going to hit the F key so I can see everything. And there you go. That is the inverter um, for, this, for this project. And so one more thing that I would like to just make sure is that in the following labs, you're going to need to change the length and width of each transistor. So in order to do that, what you need to do is uh, click on the transistor, uh, right click and go to properties, and then you can expand this window 
and down below here is where you can actually change the the width and the length to whatever you want and then you would hit apply and click OK and so there you go and so in the following videos I'll show you how to actually simulate this and then create the layout for it so thank you